Okay. Let's do this again, since apparently my stream disconnected right as I made the final decision in the game, probably. It's fine. Take the lead on this. I know him better. Yeah, I thought I did. Anyway. Sure. Whatever. As long as we get answers. It's fine. Just go through all of this again. So mad. Kids, listen. You're our father. <sighs> yes. You knew how bad it got out here. How little we had. Why didn't you help Marianne? You mean all the money she wanted? We didn't have anything to spare. Well, that winter was rough on everyone. And you would have starved out here if not for all the free food we gave you. Don't act like you had anything to do with that. That was all Tessa. That's a cruel presumption, young man. Well, maybe it was Tessa's idea initially. But I supported it. And your mother was happy to live off our handouts. Same decision. You were here that all the night. Way through. You saw Marianne and Tyler. Why didn't you help? <sighs> I know it wasn't my best moment, but she threatened my life. So you just decided to let her drown? I didn't decide anything. Everything happened so fast, I panicked. And by the time I got to town, Brown was already on his way out. There was nothing else I could do. tried to burn down our barn and knocked Tyler unconscious. I never meant to hurt anybody. Uh, you weren't supposed to be home. Doesn't excuse the fact that you didn't even stop to help. What do you want me to say? I panicked. Oh, you panic a lot. I was terrified that this whole thing was going to blow up in my face. I had to do something. Fix the mess he made, one way or another. You failed us, Tom. You need to make it right. I'll do whatever you want. As long as none of this gets out. Excuse me? You want me to pay for my mistakes? Fine. But please, Tessa can't know. This would kill her. Tessa already knows, Tom. No. That's... That's impossible. It never occurred to you the reason Tessa cut Marianne off was you? <laughs> uh, I... But she... She never said anything. Of course she didn't. Oh, Lord. You should try talking to your wife. Maybe if you had, we wouldn't be in this situation. And maybe Marianne wouldn't be dead. Come on, you of all people should appreciate how troubled Marianne was. She was unhinged. Something like this would have happened sooner or later. A 
Listen, let's just choose some different options. And you just Fine. couldn't risk being there when it happened. Even though it meant leaving her to raise kids out here all by herself. Ooh. None of this would have happened if you'd manned the fuck up. I like I that one have better. A choice. I know it shouldn't have happened. But, well, your mother was a very pretty woman. Oh, good. That didn't change. And she'd been so many places and done so many things. The way I always thought I would have. I got caught up. Love made me a fool. Look, I made mistakes. But this will not go any further than the three of us. Why? We know. Tessa knows. Marianne's dead. There's no point in hiding it anymore. He's afraid it'll tank his campaign. Am I wrong? Jesus, Tom. I've kept your secret all these years. I don't want to go spilling it. But I will if I have to. What? Yeah. Your little story about self-defense. I've never told anyone how Mary and Minnie died. That night, I came out here because I was worried about your mother. Thank you, auto-populating grass. Not better watching it the second time around, just saying. I don't like either of the Beckys. This just did. Welcome to this information. So done with Tom. Just saying. Done with Tom. I want to trash his campaign into the ground. Dive bomb. No. No way. You're a fucking liar. I saw what I saw. Oh, come on. What I saw. Ugh! You're manipulating us just like you manipulated her. Tyler! You're not listening to this, are you? Be smart about this, Allison. Are you sure you want this to get out? <laughs> You've got way more here to lose than he does. His name will be all but clear, but you... You'll be a killer. What will your uncle say? He already knows. And Michael? Hmm? Well, the whole okay, town might know. turn on you. Don't touch her. You know I'm right. Just get out of here, Tom. Tyler and I need to talk alone. Just please. 
Think twice before I'm making a trash rash campaign. It's gonna be great. There's a whole lot of lives at stake here. Leave us the fuck alone and never come back. Ali, you okay? He didn't let that asshole get to you, did you? Did you? Love what if it. he's right? I've been having all these nightmares about that night. And they were a lot like how Tom said. And now, when I try to remember, that's all I can see. He's trying to mess with your head, and you're letting it work. No, it's more than that. Ever since we started digging, I... I haven't been able to shake this feeling like something's off. Something's off because he put this in your head. Don't let him get away with it. He might not be lying. We, we keep getting things mixed up. We remember totally different versions of the past. Those are just details. This isn't that. She was going to kill me. I'm not so sure anymore, Tyler. I'm so glad I get to make this dramatic decision again, and I'm going to make the exact same decision. The drama in this game is so real, though. I love it. She had a gun pointed at me. She chased me. She said she was going to kill me. She threatened Tom with those exact same words. With the same gun, on the same pier. The thing you said to Eddie the other day got thrown back at me. Don't you think it's possible that happened here too? No. No, sorry, that's not possible. I guess it's possible. Fuck. I, I don't know. And we're never gonna know the truth, are we? Because the second you walk away from something... That's it. Yeah. I guess, at this point, you just have to decide what you believe. Me? Yeah. Yeah. You need to start dealing, Allie. And that means coming to terms with whatever version of the past feels the most true to you. No more running. Whatever you choose, you gotta live with it, okay? Oh. 
I'm going to kill you! I'm going to kill you! Let's stick with it. I'm determined. I'm going to kill you! No, don't do this. Mom, no. face being separated from our kids again and the only way to make sure that never happened was for all of us to go together <laughs> I know it in my heart I saved you I saved us I know you did the right thing you want to go back inside <laughs> yeah. Please let me trash Tom Vecchi's entire life. I need that. For reasons. Oh, honey. Oh, honey, you are not okay. Hey, peep what I just found downstairs. Something both think? of you need. Will it have aged well, or just gone bad? Cheers, I guess. <laughs> I can't believe Tom thought we'd buy that story. And that I almost did. Yeah, I still can't believe he and Marianne. Blech. What the hell did she see in him? Blech. She was probably just lonely. really, really lonely after she lost Leo. I can never get that lonely. <laughs> Listen, with everything that's been going on, it got me thinking about our voice. Like, that maybe we should stop using it. What? I just don't trust it, and I think we'll be better off without it. This morning, I kept getting these horrible visions. Of you and Marianne and Eddie. Visions? Like our memories? Yeah, but, but different. It was all my worst thoughts to life. You were in my bedroom saying I abandoned you. Eddie called me a snake. I'm sorry. I should have been there for you. It's okay. I was the one who walked out. I just... I can't let that happen again. I, I don't think it will. Something's been pushing us to find answers. And now we have them. Maybe I'm wrong. And if it stays bad, we can stop. But... I really want to keep what makes us, us. The Mad Hunter was forced to remain below the lake with the Moon Hag, but she did not kill him, because even reduced to just one hand, he was too useful a servant. Lo, he plotted what do you the think? day he would emerge. Brothers and sisters? To once again hunt the wise princess and earn back his left hand. Always. And that is the story of how the crafty goblins rescued the wise princess from the mad hunter.
This game isn't going to give me the option to ruin Tom Becky's life, and I am disappointed. Whew. Six months later. All right. House does not look great. Oh, he caught his hair. <sighs> One last look. I'm good to go. Oh, do I get to wander around? Oh, hell yeah. Hey, it's me. Hey, me. <laughs> House is empty. I'm getting ready to head out. So, last chance. Is there anything you want me to do while I'm in town? Listen, Ty, you're dropping off the keys with Tina, right? Yep, gonna leave them at her office on my Excuse way to Excuse me, it's like I wander oh, around this entire land. Then. Oh my god, no, I want to know about Tom. <laughs> Uh, did you see the article I sent you about Tom losing the election? Ah, uh, yes. I saw your message right before Derby practice, so I didn't have time to read it. I'm so But I did Derby. cackle at the headline. <laughs> did you picture Tom's face whenever you went in for a block? <laughs> no, but that is a great idea. <laughs> Think I should swing by the store for one final fuck off? <laughs> see you never, Becky's. How's Juno? Big and full of people, even without tourists. Michael's been writing up rules for the apartment. I need your support against his whole food policy. Just refuse to sign anything until I get there. Aww. Okay? Okay, but you better hurry. If he gets his way, we'll only have one small shelf for junk food. What? Heresy. I'm gonna need like twice that just for snack cakes after my surgery next Yay. month. Yay! I know, Aww. right? This cannot stand. How are you? Good, actually. Really good. You? Same. You know, emptying the house really cleared my head out. Thanks for doing that. The observatory really needed me this week. And Aww. after everything that happened, I, I just felt like I needed to keep some miles between me and Delos Crossing. Can I go no worries. No. <laughs> you still loving your therapist? Gail, yes. I was actually just doing some letter writing she assigned me as homework. It really helped me get some perspective. That sounds awesome. Okay, I'm gonna hang up now. See you tonight. Okay, I'm gonna take one last walk through the house and then head to the ferry. Drive safe. Uh, pretty sure that's the only way possible in the old Allison Mobile. Love you, Tyler. Love you. Aww. Listen, I'm so glad Tom lost. I should have probably run these by his place. Or just dropped them off at Bernie's. Last night's dinner wasn't that good, but better than going back to the Veckies. I should grab the rest of my stuff before I head out. Stuff, stuff. This is a pretty damn house, just saying. Oh, wow. Okay, there's plenty of stuff to look at. Let's go. Seeing it empty is so weird, but at least it's the last time I'll ever have to. Time to go look through stuff. Listen, I love it. <laughs> Let's see. Computer. <laughs> That's so pure. Oh, take that. For the love of God, take your computer. Ladder. Couch I told them not to get rid of.
I miss this shaggy hair, I'm not gonna lie. It's still so pretty! <sighs> gonna miss this. One more jog down memory lane, Mr. Ronan? Hey, I'm having a private moment with me, myself, and I here. <laughs> okay, carry on. Let's see. Firewood, shovel. Go back inside. Let's see. Okay, let's see. No one needs a fridge, it's fine. Let's see. Hey goblins, word in town is that you guys finally sold the house. I came by tonight to help you fix what needs to be fixed, but there was nobody home. Are you gone already? Things need things change so fast these days. Anyways, you know where to find me if you want me to fix things, if you're still in town, I mean. It's getting late and I'm pretty tired. Oh, and I am sorry for acting like the stupid ass I am. <laughs> Everywhere I look, I think about what used to be. I've been trying to do better, but I think it might be too late for an old bear like me. I'm not sure if this will reach you. It's getting late. Call me if you're still around. Be safe, Sam. Yes, I wish it was an. E I wish it was as easy to fix everything as a boat. That's a mood. Oh, this is cute. Yeah, no, you're taking all of those. I'm sorry. Well. Okay. In the room. Oh, this room is empty. That's weird. This room's a little depressing now. This is fine. <laughs> up Allison's stuff on my way out. <laughs> Allison, you'll find enclosed in this letter your severance check. I also packed up the last of the personal items you left to pick up at the store. Please coordinate with Michael to see when it is best time for you to come by the store. I wish you the best of luck on your future endeavors. Sure you do. Sure you do, Tessa. Turns out you didn't need our help losing the election, Tom. <laughs> Because Tom Becky is gross. Becky, I'll never pronounce it right. There's absolutely nothing in here. Upstairs we go. Yeah. I can't even look at myself, that's just depressing. Oh good, I found another place to lean. I have so many places to lean. Certainly hope the new owners are Mr. or Mrs. Fix-It. There's a tiny paper airplane and I love that. This house is so freaking cool. Goodbye, broom. Goodbye, oh, wow. room. Goodbye, man on the moon. You tried. You tried, For Tyler. Posterity. Okay. Officially wandered around the house. Officially wandered around the house. Can I even leave through this door? No. 
Grab that. Look at that. That's trash. That I do not want. Thank you. That's more trash that I uh, still do not want. Did I look at that? I should yes. have probably run these by his place. I did. Or just drop him off at Bernie's. I see. Real fast. On a mission. Check two things. Aha. This being number one. Um. I'm sorry we're leaving you alone out here. Bye, Leo. Oh, that... Oh, that's <sighs> really sad. Oh, Jesus. Everything okay, Ty? Actually, yeah. Everything really is. That's... That's, that's a sad bench. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Let's see. That's fucking beautiful. Yeah. Time to move on. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were going to let me run into the water for a minute. Jesus. Let's go. Aww. Aww. Dreamy sigh. Fuck. <laughs> Moose. Um. Can I do anything else? Can I not leave yet? What have I not done? I hope the next goblin family bakes a lot of sand pies in this. Allison, it's the Ollie and Allison vessel. Uh, Burb. Hey there, little buddies. You keep an eye on this place for us, okay? Cute. Have I forgotten something? I think I've forgotten something. Oh, there we go. I did forget something. Forgot to close the damn door. Well, this is goodbye for real, I guess. It's Ty. Tyler Ronan. I, uh, uh, thought I'd catch you on your break between sessions, but I guess you're going long with another rebel with too many causes. <laughs> I, I know I haven't reached out since I left Fireweed, but I just wanted to say, well, you were right about grief, about it going in circles. This morning, I was out on the porch staring at the fog and my mother, she, she just tumbled right out of me. But it was okay. Aww. It actually felt good to remember. Anyway, uh, 
Give me a call back if you get a chance. I'll see you around. And thank you. Hey everybody, I just wanted to pop in and say, I know this game covered a lot of hard topics, and sometimes that's kind of what's needed. Like, I'm actually really proud with how this actually went. The game itself was beautiful, I think I mentioned that many times, but the fact that they delve so deep into both being transgender and the reaction to it, and mental illness in itself, I felt like we needed to take a moment, step back, um, because those can be really hard topics for people. It's hard to come out. I know I've done it like three or four times now <laughs> because gender is a gender and sexuality are both just ever evolving things and I mean sometimes they aren't sometimes you are just as straight as a board or as gay can as can be and that's just where you sit and that's fine all everything that you feel is fine but I wanted to go ahead and touch on it because especially coming out as transgender like it's hard to come out as anything but coming out as transgender can be really hard because there's a lot of stigmas attached to it, especially with a lot of the things that are happening politically. So some of the best things you can do, I will tout this to the end of time. The therapy is literally the best thing you can do. Air talk therapy can be one of the biggest ways to get through everything that you're feeling. I don't think I would have made it all the way if it wasn't for my therapist that I had at the time. I wish I could go back to her. She's in a different city. I don't want to drive two hours every week for therapy appointments. <laughs> but I do, I miss her tremendously. But I know that therapy can be kind of hard sometimes to find. So really the best thing you can look up, depending on your area, is either low cost or no cost therapy. Because a lot of times there are specific clinics that will work with transgender LGBTQ plus people about finding those specific therapists because honestly it, depending on what's going on in your brain you may end up with more than one therapist <laughs> which isn't necessarily a bad thing like having specific therapists for whatever specific thing is going on can actually be tremendously helpful because each one is going to have their own insights on certain things and may not have the knowledge to you know help with other things and the other big thing i kind of want to stress is coming out there's no specific timeline for it i came out when Okay, I came out the first time when I was 22. Um, I officially started transitioning at 25, and now I'm 31. <laughs> but along with that, I wanted to go ahead and list a bunch of resources because I know that resources can be hard to find. So when you're going through everything, trying to figure out, there, it, there are certain ones that hit for specific times. Like if you are under the age, I do believe it's 18, honest to God, your best resource that you can go to is the Trevor Project. So with the Trevor Project, there's actually three big modes of communication. You have, obviously, the talk line, you have a chat line, or a chat screen, and you have texting line, actually, which is super cool. If you're over the age of 21, and you're kind of having a lot of issues just related to the idea of being transgender, uh, whatever may be going on in your mind, things like that, there's also the trans lifeline. So it's, it's a lot more than just line to talk to people. It's they oh gosh they do so much so one of my favorite things that the trans lifeline actually has is they do micro grants so if you're looking to change your name or get your government ids updated things like that that you might actually be able to get a grant from them for it along with that they do a lot of specialized support with undocumented and um, incarcerated transgender people which is mind-blowing because like as hard as it is out here i can't even imagine going through some of this stuff if I was undocumented or incarcerated, like, I, holy shit. <laughs> okay, so another good resource to actually check out if you're looking more for the legal side of things is to look up the National Center for Transgender Equality. They have all of your need to know, know your rights sort of things all kind of bundled up and packaged, super convenient. <laughs> but along with that, it's also really helpful to know that information depending on what stage you are in life. Because Obviously, you're going to have different rights as a minor, and as you grow up, things are going to change, and oh man, <laughs> there's so much. But along with that, if you're not 
transgender and you're just trying to ally yourself with transgender people, trying to find out information to get them some help, there's a couple of really good resources. One of them being the people who actually helped build this game. GLAD is one of the best resources that you could ever find. Like, they have information for allies, information for anyone who is affected, all across the LGBTQ plus spectrum. And they're just such a good resource. But like I said, resources down below. Check them out. Give them a good look over. You never know what you might figure out for yourself. And that's the best part, is discovering new things about yourself that make you feel fulfilled. So by all means, go find those things. Go feel fulfilled. It's an amazing feeling. <laughs> Anyways, back to this. Because it is unfortunately common to have uh, very similar experiences. Not always, because I mean... Obviously, your parents might accept you, your parents might not, but you're going to hear some of the most similar things of, oh, I didn't know that was supposed to be that way. Oh, you're not supposed to say that? Oh, that's not what you are? Oh, hmm. I'm not going to teach myself anything, because why would I? Oh, people. Anyways, people. Listen. Bless that exact person, the director of transgender media representation. What a job. Eight percent force the chest open. Let's see. <gasps> no, really? Holy shit! I was not expecting to be the minority in that one. Oh my god! Oh, good. Good. Listen, this is also good to have on here. I also wanted to pop back in at the end. Say that um, this game, definitely one of my top 10 favorite games. Probably top five, um, but I'm pretty particular with the games that I love. Um, I love how they went about everything. I love how they discussed topics and didn't seem to force anything into it, which is super nice and kind of rare when it comes to LGBTQ plus games. But absolutely loved it. I think they did a fantastic job with it. And it's just, it still to this day blows my mind. But I hope everybody has a good night and I hope you enjoy whatever good things come to you in the next few days. Bye.